What's up guys? Hardy Aquariums coming in hot with a video talking about Dwarf Corydoras. So I first heard about Dwarf Corydoras from this episode of Amazon Magazine. And this is the September, October 2013 edition. So about two years ago, these guys were picked up from the Amazon brought to America and are being bred in captivity quite often and they're actually fairly easy to breed which is what makes them really cool. It's one of the things that makes them super awesome. So here's some pictures of some all different kinds, right? They're easy to care for and I think they would make an awesome addition to basically any nano freshwater tank. So I keep them in my shrimp tank and from most of the stuff I've read they are fairly compatible with shrimp. They may eat baby shrimp every once in a while if they come across one but they are extremely small and as you can see they're about the same size as an adult shrimp. So I have five in here. They arrived today so I'll keep you updated about whether they eat shrimp or not and I want to show you how they arrived because they did not arrive in the best condition so even though there was a little trouble with shipment they all were alive when they got here and they're all swimming around they seem to be happy. And so as you can see, they look just like a normal Corydora, but they are quite a bit smaller. I think they'll get bigger than what they are now. But they can be kept in a tank as small as 10 gallons, which is different than your average sized Cory, which is usually recommended 20 gallons for proper housing and supposedly breeding these guys is fairly easy because they don't eat their own eggs they will form the T position just like normal Corydoras and the female will lay the eggs but instead of eating their own eggs they kind of ignore them like I said I keep five Corydoras in this tank and they actually do add some pretty good action already. You can see them swimming along the bottom there. One swimming up, swimming down. They like to chase each other and follow each other. Um, I just think for a small tank, these are a must have. So I encourage you guys to research dwarf Corydoras. There's many different species. I went with the Corydora Habrosis mostly because I got a good deal on them. Uh, check Aquabid, that's where I got these guys. And um, look into them. Maybe they're a good fit for your tank. Let me know if you have them, if you've kept them, if you've bred them. I'm really interested to know just what their behaviors are and what they're like. So thanks for watching. I do want to say that I haven't made a video in a long time because I've been super busy. I know that's kind of the general excuse, but school's been kicking my butt, hanging in there, getting a master's degree. So it's a lot of work, you know, uh, totally worth it. But that's why the videos have been on hold. So for anyone watching this, if you're still following my channel, I seriously appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, stay tuned. I'm not dead. I'm still going to make videos. Uh, they just might come out a little slower than usual. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.